which apparently leads down to a lower level. It looks like Jamie was right. Queen's Hospital does have a basement. And that basement is the Snatcher's main lair. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, as they say. Well, what do we do now, Gillian? Okay, uh, who's going to take the point? That's obvious! The guy with the light! Hey, that's not fair! Well, well, what do we have here? It's the hospital corridor. It's the same hallway, but not the one that's on the first floor. So what does that mean? That entire floor of Queen's Hospital has been duplicated underground. So the same floor is both upstairs and downstairs, sort of like parallel worlds. So that desolate setup upstairs is all just a smokescreen. They're making it look like the place is closed down, but in reality, they're keeping themselves quite busy. Gillian, that means we're already right in the middle of their headquarters. Please use extreme caution. Terminated. There's no doubt now that this is their maintenance facility. This one was probably still waiting to get its artificial skin installed. So this is what they really look like, huh? 
Yeah, that's the scariest thing about them. You can't tell them from real people once they've got that skin on. Perhaps that's humanity's great weakness. We're always judging books by their cover. And it's just that human weakness that they're out to take advantage of. All right, Random. Metal, let's go. The HQ's junk squad can take care of him later. We've got an investigation to do. Impressive! Looks like I misjudged you, Junker.
pressing both buttons simultaneously. The two buttons are on opposite panels, so there's no way one person can push them both alone. But if two of us work together, it might do it. That's it, Gillian. It makes perfect sense. It's the same system they used to use in nuclear missile silos in the late 20th century. Eliminates the risk of one man going nuts and acting alone. Well, it's hard to be sure, but let's give it a try anyway. I've got button one. Random, you push number two. You ready? On three. One, two, three. Come on! You did it! Door number three opened. With safety measures like that, they must have had a good reason for wanting to keep it closed. Good God! I read four human skeletons in this room. It's... it's their morgue! Perhaps victims of the Snatchers? Well, it doesn't look like whoever put them here was too worried about making sure they would rest in peace. No, it doesn't. These have got to be their victims. This is probably where they hide the bodies of the originals they snatch from places like Outer Heaven. They probably picked Outer Heaven because it gets a lot of VIP traffic. Plus, during masquerade time, they could work the place and still keep their identity secret. Yeah, and the guy who set up the link between them and Outer Heaven was Freddy, that taxi driver. They must have gone after him, not because of who he was, but what he did. After all, with a taxi, there's plenty of chances to milk your customers for information. That's probably how they learned about Outer Heaven and Plato's Cavern. I've been wondering what they had done with the bodies. Wanna hide a book? What better place than the library? Need to hide a body? How about the morgue? And for them, keeping the bodies hidden is crucial. I mean, if somebody who's supposed to be dead is out walking the streets, it wouldn't be too hard to figure out that something screwy is going on. That means that if we can figure out who these bodies were, then we've just nailed four snatchers.
Now performing simulated reconstruction of the head and facial features of each of the four victims. Commencing with victim number one. Now performing craniometric analysis. X-ray and sagittal X-ray, magnetic resonance imaging, and positron CT data gathered. Complete cranial data now being compiled. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction. First, victim's age. Estimate based on one, presence or absence of cranial fontanelles and chroma of epicranial sutures. Two, area of facial region and cranium. Three, height of upper and lower jaw and development of alveolar part. And four, location of cranial center of gravity. Next, victim sex. Estimate based on one, overall size of cranium. Two, parietal bone angle. And three, development of splachnocranium. Lastly, victim's race. Estimate based on one, overall cranial configuration. Two, volume of intracranial cavity. And three, mass of the skull. Now commencing soft feature reconstruction based on average results of above analysis. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race, 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of first victim completed. It's Freddy Nielsen. Moving on to second victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number two. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of second victim completed. That's Lisa Nielsen. Moving on to third victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number three. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of third victim completed. Who in the world is that? That's the director of Queen's Hospital. Uh, Shin Fui, uh, what's his face? Uh, Shin Shu O Gillian. Moving on to last victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number four. This one's the most recent. It's still decomposing. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of final victim completed. It's... it's the Chief! What? The Chief is a snatcher! The Benson on the scrap of that patient record was Benson Cunningham! Judging from the condition of the body, I would estimate that the snatching took place approximately one month ago. So it was the Chief who sabotaged our turbo cycle. In those matches we found in Harry's room, the Chief must have put them there to try to set him up. No doubt Harry figured it out and decided to leave that face-to-face -face message. Wait a minute. Didn't Mika say that Harry had left to go find the Chief? That's right. He was probably trying to track down some evidence on the Chief. Gillian, I'd say that this Harry has put himself in a pretty dangerous spot. If it was the Chief that sabotaged the turbo cycle, doesn't that mean that he already knows we're onto him? Damn! Harry and Mika are in danger! That's far enough, Junker. Your little investigation is over. It's them! Who? Snatchers? Get them! My arm! I can't reach my blaster! Uh, I'm hitting the leg! Is that the best you can do, Junker? Who's who's there? 
Jin! Jin Shuo, you scum! It seems you still have some fight left in you. You two are finished, but our plans move forward. We are now entering phase two. And when we do, not only this city, but the entire world will be ours to command. Phase two? What are you talking about? As you know, our operations have been hindered up to now by the flaws in our artificial skin. The skin's shortcomings have kept us away from ultraviolet rays, forcing us to do our work at night, underground, or in the winter. In the end, we had to construct a hospital like this, all because of the flaws in our artificial skin. This was the only difference between us and you humans. But now we have broken this barrier. Huh? We are on the verge of developing a perfect artificial skin, thanks to the cooperation of a new partner in our plan. Perfect artificial skin? Uh, a new partner? Once we have the new skin, nothing will be able to stop us. And with that, our plan moves to phase two. Our little experiment in this city will end, and we'll move in force to take over the world. Don't be so sure. You won't get out of the city that easy. <laughs> you humans are always so overconfident, so naive. What are you talking about? I'm sure you're aware that the Kyoto Summit, being held to decide how to handle this natural problem, opens tomorrow. Metal, is that right? Yes. Countries around the world are concerned about the Snatcher problem. It will be one of the main topics discussed at this year's summit. That's right. Tomorrow, we attack the summit. <laughs> you must be crazy. The security there will be incredible. You won't even get close. Must I explain everything to you, Junker? Aren't you even aware that a fellow Junker will be giving a special presentation at the summit? The Chief! Cunningham! So that's why you snatched him. We've known that your Chief would be speaking at the summit for over three months now. Gillian, the summit is tomorrow. We have to hurry. Listen, we have your Chief. You Junkers are at our mercy, and so is this city. And tomorrow, we move on the world! <laughs> Nothing can stop us now! We will finally achieve our long-awaited goal of global domination! <laughs> Who is this we you keep talking about? We? We are an evolved life form. Given life in the depths of the Kremlin by our creator, Modnar. We are a new race! Modnar? Modnar? The Kremlin? Those names are familiar, but... Our goal is to snatch all of the world's leaders, and then achieve total control of human thought and worldwide racial unification. You're insane. Humanity won't be so easily dominated. You underestimate the strength of the human spirit. I think not. In the same way as the Nazis, our strategy begins with the overpowering of the spirit of the people. We will strike at you humans' weakest point, the most primitive part of your psychological makeup, your suspiciousness and fear. By provoking suspicion and mistrust throughout the populace, we will destroy that fragile fabric which holds your society together, that of trust. Fear is you humans' weak point, it is the primitive part of your brains that binds you forever to your animal ancestors and makes you vulnerable. By stimulating that part of your atavistic instincts, our plan can succeed magnificently. Gillian, at this rate they'll kill us all. You've got to get out alive. You're a junker. Just one of you have in mind. I've got a big fireworks show ready for him. Better that than get snatched. What? 
You're gonna blow yourself up? No, we're better off fighting together. Hey, it won't work. I'm hitting the thigh. Ow, oh, damn. A bounty hunter can't do anything with a leg wound like this. I might as well have been shot in the head. There must be some way out of here. Hey, I wasn't doing this job just for fun. I stayed ready for situations like this. I've always been prepared to go out with a bang. It's December. A little late for fireworks. So it'll be an off-season show. No, I can't let you. My belt's packed with TNTPX. You know, that really strong stuff they use in the mines on Mars? One push, and this whole hospital will go. No trouble at all. No time to sit around thinking, Junker Boy. Go! What are you doing? Get your butt moving, you fool! Get out through this air shaft. I've got a powerful strobe on me. Its flash will screw up their sensors long enough for you to get out. Now you with me? Fireworks are better from a distance anyway, Gillian. Are you two finished chatting? Then I think it's time for you to die. We're quite busy, you know. You ready? When I give the signal, break into the air shaft and run, and don't forget your blaster. Metal, stay with me. Yes, sir. Random. Gillian. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have a chance to call in that debt you owe me. Don't worry. I'll pay it back to the Snatchers with interest. All right, go! Run, Gillian! Okay. I I I I I I'm I'm ma 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 I'm I'm in alien. I think. Metal. Something broken. I'll be 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 okay, but it appears that language serpents have been d d d d d d d damaged somewhat. What happened? Random blew himself up after getting us into this air shaft. Random. Gillian, that explosion should have taken all of Queen's Hospital with it. The thick walls of this duct must have shielded us from enough of the blast. If it wasn't for Random, we wouldn't have made it. Oh, Random. Gillian, we have no time for grief now. We must get back to Junker Headquarters as quickly as possible. Harry and Mika are in danger. You're right. And I have to keep my promise to Random. But first, we have to figure out how to get out of here. I can't see a thing. What should we do? 